This is question 13 from paper 2 of the 2015 National 5 SQA Maths exam. We're given a diagram that shows the position of three places, P, Q and R. We're told that P is directly south of Q, 25 kilometres. We're told that R is on a bearing of 72 degrees from P. We're also told in the description down here that R is on a bearing of 128 degrees from Q. We're asked to find the length of side PR, the distance between these two places, PR. So first of all, let's have a look at a larger diagram. And our first decision is, are we going to use the sine rule or cosine rule in this question? Sine rule usually, well, it, sine rule does involve knowing a side and the opposite angle. So it's a side divided by the sine of the opposite angle. Here's the, the formula that appears in your formula uh, sheet. So we need to know about a side and the opposite angle. In this case, triangle PQR, this is the side that we're trying to find, PR. The opposite angle Q, we don't appear to know that, but we do know about the bearing of R from Q. So let's get into that detail and see if we can work out angle Q in this triangle PQR. So the information is that from Queenstown, in other words, if you stand at Queenstown to take a bearing, and you'll be facing north, then the bearing of rush town is 128 degrees. So facing north, always taking a bearing by rotating clockwise. In this case, 128 degrees. If you turn 128 degrees clockwise, you'll be facing Rushton. So that's the bearing of Rushton from Queenstown. Now you remember it said that P was due south of Q, so a further 52 degrees rotation you'd be facing due south because a rotation of 180 degrees will get you from facing north to facing south. So that's a further 52 degrees and therefore we do have angle Q which is the angle opposite the side we're trying to find. So the sign look sign rule is looking fairly good. Let's just um, see what we've got. Let's replace it with the letters that we're uh, using here. PQR instead of ABC. And let's just write down the names of sides. Angle R opposite would be side R, angle Q opposite would be side Q, that's what we're trying to find, angle P opposite would be side P. And it's side Q that we're trying to find. We now have found angle Q. We know side R, but we don't appear to know angle R. But we do know two, side, two angles in this triangle. And remember, the angles of a triangle add up to 180. So first of all, let's write down what we've done so far. In triangle PQR, angle Q is 180 minus 128, which was 52 degrees. So that's a... That's what we've already established. Also, angle R will be 180 minus whatever the sum of the other two angles is, the 52 plus the 72. That's 124. So we'll take 124 degrees away from 180. We're left with 56. So angle R is 56 degrees. So we do now know angle R. We don't need to use this part of the sign rule. We'll use this part. So we'll now use the sign rule. Uh, in the form 
q over sine q equals r over sine r. So substituting values, well, let's not do that first. Let's say we're trying to get q on its own. So we're trying to get rid of this divide by sine q. So let's do the opposite. Let's multiply both sides of this equation by sine q. So the left hand side gets multiplied by sine q and the right hand side gets multiplied by sine q. The reason we're doing that is so that we can get q on its own, which is the thing we're trying to find. Now, multiplying by sine q, that would appear in the top of the fraction, multiplying the tops of these two fractions, sine q over 1, uh, and the bottoms of the fraction, so sine r. So let's substitute now values that we know, because we do know the three quantities in the right. We know little r is 25. We know that angle q is 52 degrees. And we know that angle r is 56 degrees. So that's the calculation we've now got to do. Always check your calculator has DEG or D on display, otherwise the signs will calculate wrongly. So 25 times sine of 52 divided by the sine of 56. And that comes to 23.762 and so on. So distance between Portly and Rushton is approximately, let's get rid of this, 23.8 to one decimal place. And the units are in kilometers. So that's to one decimal place. And if you have a look at that on the diagram, does 20, well, nearly 24 kilometers make sense if we look at this diagram? Uh, for P to R, there, there's the distance 25, uh, 24. They look, look roughly the same length, so yeah, that makes sense. It's always worth doing a, a reality check to see that your answer is roughly corresponds to the, the, the diagram you've got.